Where's Tobias? He's on the balcony having margaritas with Carl Weathers. Tobias had recently hired actor Carl Weathers as a drama coach. Do you see me more as the respected dramatic actor or more of the beloved comic actor? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's still plenty of meat on that bone. Now you take this home, throw it in a pot, add some broth, a potato. Baby, you got a stew going. Yes, that's fine. Uh, but I would like to focus on my acting, Mr. Weathers. I did give you my last $1,100. Let me tell you a little story about acting. I was doing the Showtime movie Hot Ice with Ann Archer. Never once touched my per diem. I go to craft service. Get some raw veggies, bacon, cup of soup. <laughs> Maybe I had a stew going. I think I'd like my money back. Michael was at the hotel with his bride-to-be. Reed, I've been really looking forward to this. Me too. I want to have sexual relations. <laughs> Mere fact that you call it that tells me that you are ready. That's why I brought this. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead and whip out that tiny teddy, and then we're gonna think up a fun safe word, okay? George Michael, I did not know that you were... Um, go ahead and talk out here. Just got back from the bum paddle courts. Tomorrow, I'm teaching her baseball. Yeah, it might take a while. Sorry? Well, listen, Dad, this, this is hard. This is hard for me to say. I was videotaping Rita. Let's just say it would be Cute if it was someone much younger. I'm sorry, um, maybe we should get another tape. Yeah. They're not expensive. That's the plastic fruit, Dad. It's very convincing fruit, okay? Is she going back in for another? Well, you know, they don't even have bananas in England, okay, son? Now, I know this is hard for you, but it would be nice to be supported in some... You know, she's going into the grapes. Yeah, she really liked us. I'm sorry. I think she might be... retarded. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Say hello to my tiny teddy. <gasps> tiny teddy?! And that's when it dawned on Michael. Oh, you teach kids, huh? Well, I like to think they teach me. That way I can see if you have a moon stuff. Be careful! I've made a huge mistake. Surprise! What's this? We're throwing you a wedding! Oh, how lovely! Oh, nurse. Everything you see. Show them the waffle bar, Larry. It's over there. Check out Banner, Michael. I'm gonna go set up. Yeah, you know, I think that we should um, wait a little while. Wait, why? I don't want to wait. I want to get married and have sexual relations like you promised. Uh, Where did you get this firecracker? I love her, Michael. So do I. I want to kiss my new daughter-in-law. Hey, not on our time, Larry. Right on the lips. No, no, Dad, please take it easy. Look who's finally gracing us with his presence. What's the surrogate doing here? We're meeting with the lawyers. So I've hired this guy to be my eyes and ears. You know, Dad, this guy costs us a fortune. He's worth every penny. Hey, I didn't say that. Tobias, meanwhile, had used his cat-like agility to get the evidence at Maggie's house. The cat is in it. Unfortunately, it was just as Maggie came home. Tobias, concerned about Maggie's heightened sense of smell, set off to cloak himself in her scent. Her ability to see, however, was currently proving a disadvantage as she couldn't reveal to the man she recognized as Tobias that she knew he was there without betraying her secret. And Tobias was finding her an uncannily difficult blind girl to outmaneuver.
their game of cat and mouse continued. Until Michael showed up to return justice. Oh, justice, what is it, boy? What is it? Is there some jackass in my bathrobe? Lindsay and Tobias were, for the first time, addressing like, their marital problems. It's like we're face to face now. Like we're, we're really seeing this marriage and I'm afraid it's a lie. Bravo. See, if I gave a performance that good, I'd have my own alias type show. Stop it. I am so sick of hearing about acting, acting, acting. Okay, okay. Look, maybe we need a new approach. Um, Let's try some role playing. Yes. All right. <sighs> Lindsay and Tobias were getting to the heart of each other's vulnerabilities with a role reversal exercise. Because I'm a woman. Good. With a woman's needs. Louder. And a woman's urges. And these, Tobias. When was the last time you looked at these? Yeah, okay. How long is this session? Okay, well, see, I don't know what's happening here. She's breaking in and out of character. Because I don't want to difficult... be in a character. Okay, I... let me stop you guys. All right? Um, please, let me get in here. Thank you. God. Thank you. Um, you've never been a real wife to me, Lindsay. That's not true, and you know it. A man is looking back at you, a man with dreams and aspirations. Meanwhile, Maybe found an address in her mother's appointment book and was getting closer to learning what her parents were up to. No Schwimmer, you're no Jennifer Aniston! And maybe I'm not even Lisa Goodrow. I have dreams, Lindsay. Dreams, Lindsay. Well then, Tobias. Follow those dreams. Make those dreams happen. Yes, I will. And scene. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, I stepped on your line. No, now. not at all. Oh, uh, okay. Lindsay, I mean, did that answer some questions for you? Yeah, yeah, I think it did. Yeah. Now there are two men I want to leave. Oh, no. You're not taking care of my son. I'm sorry to say this, but it's too late for me to do anything for your son. Let him keep talking. Because Dr. Stein here has already been assigned to his case. You're lucky. He's the best. Well... <laughs> Only in the county, but I'm certainly good enough to take out that appendix of yours. Appendix? I don't buy it. Could be a hernia. Or it could be your colon. I'd want to get in there and find some answers. Well, I am the best doctor in the state, but if you don't trust my decisions... No, 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 no. You're the doctor. You see, he's the authority here. We need to respect him, just like the employees of the Bluth Company need to respect me. Okay, I'm going to put you on this machine to slow down your heart rate. Hopefully not too slow because it's already dangerously slow as it is. <laughs> Whatever you think, doctor. Well, the operation went pretty smoothly, but once I got in there, the appendix wasn't so inflamed. Doe. I knew it. She left me. For Tobias? For me? No. She doesn't even like you. I'm in love with your brother-in-law. You're in love with your own brother? The one in the army? No, your sister's husband. Michael. Michael. No, that's your sister's brother. No, I'm my sister's brother. You're in love with me. Me. I'm in love with Tobias. My brother-in-law? I know it can never be, so I'm leaving. I'm enlisting in the army. To be with your brother? No! Anyway, I can't be expected to live on the $800 a month army wife stipend that I'm gonna get. They just don't support the spouses. Gather round, gather round. Ladies, here's the deal. We have hats, you have breasts. You show your breasts, you get a hat, okay? So if anybody wants to get back at daddy, now's the time. Woo! Wait, cut, cut, cut. We got a surfboard in the shop. Surfboard, stop taking. We're here to stop you from taking advantage of these girls. Oh! You know what? You're sassy, you're sexy, you speak your mind. There's nothing hotter. Give her a hat, Barry! I don't want a hat. I want you to leave these women alone. I'm giving them a chance to be idolized, which is an opportunity these women are never going to have again. I want to be idolized. Yeah, you do! Hey, Ellen, stop it! You've got nothing to gain from that? It's easy for you to say you already have a hat. Yeah! Come on, girl! Right. This is no way to get your daddies to notice you! You're auditioning for the part of a confidence man. Let's try a little confidence. You say confidence, man? Hey, I'm up for that part, too. Oh. Good luck to you. 
Good luck to you too. Oh, hey Jeff, did you ever get a chance to do that coverage on Voices in America, History and Perspective? Yeah, I looked that up. It's a ninth grade history textbook. Yeah, and if I don't get your report on it, I won't be able to pass on it. Because I have a feeling it's a piece of Lucille called on an old lover. Will you? Yes, ma'am. You don't remember me? General Anderson had done three tours of duty in Vietnam, but the only memory he'd blocked was being left oh, by Lucille. Oh God, that touch. Oh, how could I forget? Pat. Lucille. I could never forget that touch. Bill, they're shipping my son Buster off. I can't have that happen. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Is there anything I can do? Maybe if you go downtown. I haven't done that in 30 years. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown when you got You to make me lonely! <laughs> you and so Buster was pulled out of combat training. Put him down and hold! And put into USO training. Oh, just wanted to thank you for my new job. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm shipping out tomorrow. Uh oh. I ain't got just the thing. Oh, I haven't felt hands like that in years. <laughs> you are coming to the front. <laughs> Michael and Rita were on the Tantamount Studios tour. The thing she doesn't understand about bovine sponge form is... Oh, oh, Tram, let's get out of here, folks. Make some room, make some room. Look, it's Malcolm in the middle. In the middle of shooting, I guess. Oh, that's OK. It's more important to show how we make the show than to actually make it. Why don't you tell the group about yourself? My name is George Michael Bluth. I am a 16-year-old Caucasian male. My mom died. And I, I guess that's it. Hardly. See, if it were me, I would say, I'm Donnie Richter. I have a brother named Andy. He's an attention hog. He can't seem to really attract a real audience, but I love the fat SOB anyway. Oh, I thought you looked like that guy, Andy Richter. You guys are identical twins? Identical quintuplets, actually. There was Andy, the show-off, Donnie, the sensitive one, Cherith, the flirt, Rocky, the risk-taker, and Andy's stunt double, and Emmett, who asked that we not show his picture, although composite photography tells us he'd look something like this. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go home tonight and write something about how you really feel. Something critical. Bring it in tomorrow and read it for the group. Um, will this go toward my grade? <laughs> we don't have grades here. A student either learns and gets an L, or they fluctuate in their learning. And what do we get for that? An F. Looks like you'll be my opener. Tony Wonder. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Gah! Gah! You like bread? Yeah. Have some. Wow, it's warm. How did you do that? Oh, oh. Magicians only. Wow, that sounds easy. Keep it to yourself. And good luck up there tonight. And you, you'll get there someday. I started out as a little W, somehow I became a big one. I don't even know how it happened, all right? Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! My eye! Ah! Ah! Enjoy the Hanukkah cookie, man. What a cool guy. Bravo. Hey, give us a sec, would you, Candida? Mwah. My brother's widow. It's f***ed up. Hey, so, the accident angle. Right on. Uh, no, uh, thank you very much. No, thank you. How did doodats ate it up? Sorry, that's what we call the audience. No, I, 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 know, I know all about that. Used to have a solo act. Uh, there was talk of boiling me into a biscuit at one point. Mm, not registering. But you hitched your wagon to the right star. I want you guys on my next DVD. <laughs> You want us for Use Your Illusion? Well, actually, some band has got the rights to that title, so I'm thinking, like, Use Your Illusion 2. But, yeah, meet me out there tomorrow. And uh, if you get thirsty... Oh! 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 Ah! Have a free round of drinks, courtesy of Tony Wonder. It's a Subway Sub Club card. That's a magician. Oh, it's Tony's three stamps.
Hey. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got some looks on the bus because of this. What are you doing with that thing? I am going to catch that wolf, Michael. I'm going to shoot it with this tranquilizer gun, get the reward, and bid on my woman at the charity auction. Isn't there some kind of a waiting period for a rifle like that? <laughs> it turns out there is. Two weeks. Isn't there a loophole? There is a gun show loophole. At what timing, huh? I mean, right out back they were having one. This is my father, Pastor Terry Veal. Hello. Oh, Pastor. I, uh, I didn't, I didn't know. You didn't tell me. I, told I didn't know you didn't. People treat you so differently when they find out you're a man of God. Oh, believe me, I know. Oh, are you a church-going man? I am. Sometimes. Yes, I don't go religiously. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a nut about it. But because there is no such thing as a nut when it comes to religion, Pastor. I've met a few. And, uh, I'm sure if you look a, a little bit closer, you'll find some very earnest people that are just doing their best. What are you doing, Dad? Not sure. Why don't you two kids run along and let us get to know each other a little bit better? Thank you. Maybe I should get my wife. Okay. Honey, this is this is George Michael's father. This is your wife. Didn't didn't realize you could remarry. What? Is this Anne's mother? I'm Mrs. Veal. Sorry, I just I did not expect somebody so young. Next, you're gonna say how Anne and I can be sisters. No, I'd never say that. Listen, I'm here because I think that my son might be planning on asking your daughter to get pre-engaged. Oh my gosh. my gosh. Well, that is something to celebrate. Can we open up some sparkling apple cider? No. Oh, did you want us to go down to the liquor store and get you some liquor? No, well, don't you think they're a bit too young? Oh, we got serious around his age. Well, who can blame you? You gotta lock that down. But I, I just, I'm not quite sure that they're ready. Michael, in my experience, there is no recipe for a perfect match. It takes the love of two families. Well, you haven't met my family. Murderers! Which follows all the rules. And there are plenty of rules about guns already on the books. You're not allowed to sell a gun to a kid. You're not even allowed to fire your gun in the air. Isn't that Frank Wrench? On the 4th of July. In fact, it was People's Choice nominated actor Moses Taylor, famous for his portrayal of the rule abiding detective Stop. Frank Wrench, star of the television show Wrench. Well, that's one rule I'm not going to follow. That's the Second Amendment. Uh. Read it. Kisses, and then we talk. Which one is Michael? Uh, Swoop me! I uh, really appreciate you coming over, Uncle Jack. Thank you for having me. You may be amazed. I I'm invited into very few personal homes. To the nuts! The bridge mix! The bridge mix! Fool! Hey, fake Uncle Jack. Oh, is this the boy? Is this the little one? My God, you're an army man. <laughs> I was never in the army. I was in the pictures. Here comes Uncle Jack. Shoot me! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that, I pinned him. I pinned the army man. God bless you for being in the army. Oh. Up, dragon! <laughs> Lift! Lift with vigor! Remember me? Lucille. Why, you look younger than you did the day I... Oh, you old fool. I'm Lucille. Ah! <laughs> you look fabulous. Back to the blonde. Back to the blonde! I think I can do for you everything he did. Plus, skew younger, with juries and so forth. Any other questions? Yes, how can you be even cuter in person than you are in your ads? Are you a CEO, CFO, or other executive facing these or similar charges? Why should you go to jail for a crime someone else noticed? You don't need double talk, you need blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 no habla espanol. Well, we're not here to talk nonsense to Bob blah, blah. We need to find out if the government has a good case against us. I mean, there is a lot of proof that my father was building houses in Iraq. Just then, Michael ran into a woman whom he hadn't seen in years. Michael? Sally Sitwell. Oh. Michael had always been in love with Sally Sitwell. We could steal a golf cart. No, they keep him locked up. I know because I have a key. I'll go get my sweater. Oh, so you want to use the key. But his father had a longtime competition with her father. It looks like my boy's gonna be sticking it to your daughter, said well. Stick it to her. Stick it to her. As a result, Michael was awkward around her. Should we go or stick her up? No, we're not gonna be sticking anything. Not, not gonna stick a thing. And so Michael got to know his son's ethics teacher. Ethics, right and wrong. <sighs> 
How can one thing be right and another one be wrong? I mean, which is which, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the err uh, of it, you know? So frustrating. I don't know, I mean, they just threw this class at me after Mr. Daniels had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I had him, Mr. Daniels, how is he? Oh, he, you know, had a stroke. Oh, I thought that you were joking. No, Gosh. I was just laughing, because you were laughing. Right, no, was... yeah, Gosh. Yeah. Hmm, Err. <laughs> 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 But, you know, I, I really am anti-war and anti-violence. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm an ethical person. Right. Here's an ethical question. Can, can a parent take a teacher out for a drink? Or... I don't know. Uh, do you have a wife? Yeah, but she's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been married? Yeah, she died. Oh, God, why are we laughing? I don't, well, it's the Mr. Daniel stroke thing all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get that drink. Yeah, it yeah. can only help. George Sr. went on a walk with Cindy, George. and she was getting to him. You can feel safe to fully reveal yourself to me. Hmm. All right, there is, there is something. Come closer. <sighs> it's weighed heavy on my soul. You know, the Talmud teaches us to. There you go. What's he doing? He's pinching the camera. He's on to us. He's found the camera. Get out of there. Got the camera. Abort. Get the Abort. dog. Abort. Clean the dog. We are cleaning the dog. Hey, why aren't we going to the airport? Well, I want to go check out this house Dad asked you to burn down, see what he's hiding. I think that's it, sir. Buster, this guy speaks English. Oh, no. I just swallowed a moth. Yeah, I'm sorry it took so long, but the Cheney Expressway was backed up all the way to Halliburton Drive. Let's see what all the mystery is about, huh? And that's when Michael found someone the U.S. government had been able to depose. Are, 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 are you, uh... I am Saddam Hussein. A look-alike. Who are you? I'm Michael Bluth. These are my brothers, uh, Buster and, and Joe Bluth. Yeah. Bluth? Is he here to fix the air conditioning? Are, are you both Saddam Hussein lookalikes? Hardly. Invite them in. I am behaving like an O'Day lookalike. Uh, come on in. Come on in, guys. But, you know, I'd, I'd always heard that there were Saddam Hussein lookalikes. I guess I'm just a little surprised to see you all living here in, in, in one house that, that looks so similar to ours. Scar on that one dude's forehead's got to be a problem. Ah, uh, that's Ahmed. Never the stop watching the trial. We are all following it pretty closely. I understand. They put this guy away. You guys are out of a job, huh? Yes, and we wanted to keep the house for just one more season. I have a baby on the way. I do a better Saddam than this guy. My Saddam will show his teeth. Yes, to chew the scenery. And so Michael decided the least he could do was take a look at the air conditioning. But before he did, he decided to see if there was a secret room in this model home as well. And that's when Michael discovered the bombshell. Buster. Oh my God, it makes me want to have an ice cream cone. Doesn't this make you want to have oh, an ice cream cone? Have an ice cream cone. You'll have plenty of time for ice cream in prison. Ice cream sandwiches. CIA undercover. CIA, of course. This explains why it was so easy to get you out of prison. Well, I knew that if he got out, he would lead us right to whatever your dad was hiding. What the hell is this? My name is Representative John Van Heusen, and I am here to protect the dignity of this boy's life. Dignity? Easy for you to say. I'm the one who has to loofah his stump. I believe death is wrong in all of its forms, except lethal injection, but that's just as a deterrent against more of death. And this young man is enjoying life. Hey, hey, huh? Hey, look at us, huh? We're having a blast here, huh? <laughs> How the hell do you even find out about Sleeping Beauty here? It was an anonymous tip from someone who cares about Buster's life. It's not ringing any bells. In fact, it was Buster himself. They're trying to kill baby Buster. Oh, that's right, from the videos. Well, no one's killing baby Buster on my watch. That is, unless, of course, it's as a penalty in a three-strike scenario. No one's called him Baby Buster since high school. No, thanks. Already taken care of. Thank you. I'm thanks. sorry. Apparently, there's been some increased activity on your card. It's been declined. In fact, the increased activity on Michael's card was his father's. Do you really think that a hot tub is the best thing for someone with your condition? I can't see, but uh, I didn't know there was a doctor installing this. Somebody order a case of Bag and Boil frozen dinners? 
I'm happy to get this. No, 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 please, Stan, I'll, I'll do it. Um, can you put this on my mother's car? Your mother? No, 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 no. She is a pool member only. And you'll excuse me if my tone is not polite, but this is more polite than she has ever talked to me. Welcome to Blue Bananas, where bananas are our business, man. Just you in a banana this day. T-Bone, what are you doing here? Oh, your dad gave me this job. Michael realized that his father had even taken control of the banana stand. But he still had some unanswered questions, so he did a little detective work. You burned down the storage unit? Oh, most definitely. What you got there? I can't really discuss it. Well, if you want to get it made, I'm the guy who has to see it. You're the Funke I was talking about? What are you, like, 15? Marry me. Everyone thinks I look young, too. So who are you thinking about? Jude Law. Why do you ask? Yeah, go young. Young guy in the sea. Big spring breaker for CGI the fish. Let's fast track this one. And that's when Maybe realized she had become a successful film executive. It's all waxed up. All waxed up? What do you I mean? I need something. A job for my dad. Yeah, yeah, sure. OK. Listen to me. Brand new cars don't get whacked. After lying about her age, she had conned her way into a job as a movie studio executive. Did you get the stack of scripts that I sent you? Because you certainly look well rested. Marry me. Ha! I need your notes on those tomorrow. You want to have a drink? Yeah, why don't we ask your wife to come with us? OK, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. This young man in the beach script sucks. She goes with the guy just because he said she's awesome? You call that dialogue? Hey, I didn't write it. No, but you're going to fix it. It's a spring break movie. Get down there and find out what they sound like. Oh, yeah, right. Do you really think I look college-aged? I'm not drunk, but I'm willing to be. Hint. Oh, Marge, you're going to be so easy to blackmail. Hint. As you can see, I'm ready for a lot that's new. Oh, good heavens. Right. Well, this is a great area. There's some wonderful surgery centers nearby. We're doing it. <laughs> We're really doing this. Yes. We're going to get you in the right house. It's just the two of you. You have no children? We don't. We should be honest here. We have no income flow. No incoming income flow. We have plenty of outgoing income. No savings, no credit. I mean, we had some stimmy, but that went to his hospital bills. But there's one thing we do have. Work ethic. All right, no work ethic. But there's one thing we do have. We do have a daughter. I was just on autopilot before yes, when no, I said we didn't. I, I should have caught that. Yeah. <laughs> I could have spoken up, but I just wanted to see if you guys got there. No offense, I have a job. I mean, I have a good oh, thing. Hey, hey how's it going? Real good. Andy, uh, quick note. Uh, just because I look at you when we're doing the show and ask you a question doesn't mean you have to respond. Sometimes it's funny when you don't say anything and the audience gets to think, hey, Andy really is stupid. <laughs> gets a big laugh. Hey, you're new. Been here a year. <laughs> you're funny too. Let's get you set up in writer's office. Oh, you can have nice. Andy's if you don't mind the smell of baloney. This pilot who safely crashed his plane into the Hudson River. It's kind of a coincidence, Andy. We've got a pilot who crashes planes and you're an actor who crashes pilots. <laughs> and Rocky hurts two nice red-haired guys' feelings. Yeah, that's really funny. You know what else would be funny? If I ripped that red rug right off your head and turned you into Ron Howard. While getting the biggest laugh of Andy's career. Ignore them. Their bark is louder than the dogs they eat back home. You keep causing trouble, you're going to end up with the noodles in your belly. I like noodles. Not this way, very hard to digest. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? It's no secret, we'll kill you. Kill oh! Yeah, yeah. She's got a sharper noodle! She's trying to do the set! This will be more exciting if you jump cut it! Baby talk will give your child a head start in math. And if I were a doctor, I would guarantee you that it would also boost their brain power by 110%. That's a lot of brain power. You've been using baby talk, correct? For how long? For two months, but George Michael really enjoys listening to the sound. And would you say it's changed the power of his brain? Uh, well, that's impossible to deny. I've always wanted a smart baby. This thing really works, George. In fact, it came from something that didn't. So we're stuck with 5,000 of these worthless cornballers? When they were looking to recoup some of their costs after an ill-fated foray into the fry-at-home snack food market. Whoa, whoa, they're not worthless, you know? The timer still works. There's no numbers on it, but it's very loud. Perfect. 
For those who like the sound of a clock but don't know their numbers. That's good. We'll sell this to baby down! <laughs> We should put these in cribs. I think you should meet my husband. We may have something for you. Look how big his hand is. But Herbert would be less enthusiastic. And you want him to live with us? Well, well he's a vet, Herbert. <laughs> and you yourself said you need something to compete with the woman you're running against. Lucille, too, had recently adopted a Hispanic boy named Perfecto. And since you're never around, I mean, he could help me with the boys. It's like that movie, The Blind Side. I suppose we could use a blindside monster. Well, we shouldn't call him a monster. That's why I love you, Ophelia. You've got a heart as big as that blindside monster's hand. <laughs> and so it was decided. Buster was to stay with the love family. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the family. Oh, he found a home at last. Oh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> In the following weeks, Buster came in handy.